Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Today I'm going to be organizing my small shop sticker books. So I have quite a few of them. And what I like to do is go ahead and organize them based on what I'm going to be currently using. So any spring or summer sticker books that I won't be using for a while, I wanna go ahead and like rotate those out bring the fall stickers up front so that way I have them more accessible to me when I want to plan things out. So I was going to do that and then I thought, you know what, maybe somebody might be interested in some tips and ideas for the, yourself. So I thought that I would go ahead and film it. So the shops that I have sticker books from are Live Love Posh, Calibre Plan, and Amber Plans Her Day. So if you're not familiar with those sticker books they are like bigger sticker books so here's a couple of them right here um, and if you want to compare them with the happy planner size sticker books let me grab one of those for you and I have one right here so here's a happy planner sticker book and then here is the um, small shop sticker books that I'm talking about so you can see how much bigger they are so I have sticker boxes for my happy planner stickers and I have some of them right here and these are working wonderfully for those sticker books but for the bigger ones I obviously need a different storage system so I had gotten from live love posh I don't remember what box it was in, but she has a storage box that you can get that fit her sticker books, which is great because that's the same size as the other two shops that I have. So, so that is this right here. All right, let me, I just wanted to bring it over. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to get everything in frame, but I wanted you to see what it looks like. And um, I have sticker books in here, of course, already, but um, they only fit so many. I'm not quite sure how many this fits, but it's really nice. However, there is a problem with the design of this particular storage box. Let me just take all of these out of here first. And that is that it's too shallow. So the sticker books, when you put them in here, it's not tall enough, you see? So it like, if it'll flop over, like the sticker books will like flop over, even if it's full, like they'll tend to flop over, they'll tend to or bend forward. So I love the sticker box and it's been working great for me, but I've had to go ahead and make a little bit of adjustment to it. So in order for my stickers not to flop around, I have these two cardboards. Um, this one I covered in white sticker paper, just so that way it would look a little bit nicer on the front. So what I do is I put one in the front and then I put one in the back, and then that helps add height to the box, which then makes the stickers like more stable in the box. Now, I do know that there's other boxes available that fit these sticker books really well. Honestly, I don't know if I really wanna invest in them. I did look at them, but they do come in like a pair. That's how they're sold. And when I did the measurements of them, they're not going to fit side by side for me. So in my little cubby that I have here, um, I won't be able to put them side by side. Plus, I don't think I need two of them, at least not yet. And what I generally like to do is I like to take this container, put it in here, and then I have like um, planners and notebooks that I will put on the side. It's much easier for me. It's very convenient. My desk is right here. So I'm able to turn and get whatever I need with, you know, without having to like fumble around and look for it. Okay. So this is super, super convenient for me. I like the placement of it. So definitely going to keep that there. So I will be using this box for all of the stickers that I'm going to be using for the fall season. So I'm going to put that to the side but I need more room to house the rest of the items. And rather than purchasing another one of these, because I think she might have them available, I'm not sure, I'll double check. 
um, to see if she has them available still. But what I have done was I have this plastic container that I got from Target. And this was like five or seven dollars. I think it was five dollars. I was just there today and I took a peek. Um, I did not pick up another one because I don't really need another one. So I kind of have things arranged in here to, you know, the best that I can. So I definitely have some room. So these are like sticker books from other shops that I have acquired and they fit pretty nicely on the side here. The larger sticker books from these shops that I just mentioned, they will fit, but only like this way, all right? I can't fit the sticker books this way, like facing forward. They are just way too wide for that. But this sort of works for me the way that it, it is already like in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my sticker books and I'm going to organize them by season. And then that way I will have everything that I need up front for when I turn and grab sticker books and things like um, some of these, like I have seasonal florals, like hell of a plan. So I might keep that one like more handy. Um, there was like these bold florals, but a lot of these are just like more spring. So I'm probably gonna put that to the back. Uh, floral blossoms, this is winter, winter, winter. So I kind of have them organized. That's a Christmas one. And um, I just wanna keep all of the same things together. Then that way it'll be a lot easier for me to grab. So here's summer, here's spring. Then I have these other ones that are like, um, Lux Living and the Planner, Crafty Planner, but the Summer Memories. Here's the um, Rainbow Books from Calvo Plan. I like to keep those handy because those are will come in use lots of times, but we'll see where they're gonna fit. This Blooming Blossoms, this one's kind of like one of those that doesn't really fit anywhere specific. So this was summer. Um, yeah, so some of them are kind of like, I'm not sure if I'm going to really use them for this particular season. I want to be sure to use the stickers that I just got, like that are specifically for fall. So I've got these, these sticker books here, the fall ones that I just showed you. Um, and then I have some like staple sticker books, like these are really nice, the colorful quotes. Um, these ones here, dated basics, functional. Those I like to keep handy because they're like black and white stickers or wording. Floral elements, that one has a lot of like fall colors in there. Black quotes definitely goes with like this. So I sort of have like, um, and then I have planner words. So these are all like my black and white books. And these, like, I always keep these handy because these are stickers that I can use at any time. Flourishing florals, that's very specific. Um, and then I do have some sticker books that are from like last year from the fall. So I'm gonna keep all of the fall together along with like my really functional black and white ones. The summer is definitely going to go into the plastic bin and the spring. So I'm going to start just kind of loading these up. Now this plastic bin actually works really well because it does hold um, the stickers and they don't flop around. So I really like that. These are winter. So I'm going to have these. I'm not quite ready for those yet, but that'll be like the next category. And I usually kind of organize these I would say probably every season just as I like need to switch out my um, sticker books. Not only that, but it really depends on how many sticker books I have, you know, what I have going on here. Um, let's see. 
These are all kind of like anytime sticker books. So I think I'll put these all together. Now, some of the sticker books do have the um, title of them on the top, but those are just like the newer ones. I think I have to go through, like what I'm talking about is the titles up here, like right on the top there, so you can see what it is. I think I'm gonna have to go through and make that another project of just like labeling the stickers on the top to make it a lot easier for me to see. Um, but let's go ahead put those. So I still have plenty of room in there. And then let me start loading up the one that I am going to want to have first. So I'm gonna take this cardboard out of here and I definitely want my functional stickers up in front here and my colorful quotes, floral elements. I'll put those in there and then I want all my new fall sticker books and I have I have quite a few. I love fall. It's my favorite, favorite season. So I am just such a sucker for all of the fall sticker books. Let me know, Is are you the same? Um, all right, so I have quite a bit of room left, which is really kind of nice. So um, I think I'm gonna put in the um, rainbow ones. I like to have these. These are really nice. They're florals, but then I also like um, the boxes. These are from Calva Plan. I like to grab boxes from here with ease. I have not gotten any of the boxes um, from Mojo. I know that she sells them and I want them, except I still have a lot of colorful boxes from the Happy Planner. So I want to use my stash, you know, so I don't want to have like all of that if I don't need it just yet. So I'm okay with that. So these are kind of like the planning, like Crafty Planner, um, Lux Living Crafty Planner. These are both from Live Love Posh, but I think I could fit those in here. Although, honestly, I don't know if I'll even be using these because I tend to stick to very seasonal stuff once fall hits, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the back here. I think they're all gonna fit. Yeah, perfect. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna grab my board because otherwise you see how they start to like kind of flop, you know, like that. That is, I, I don't like that. It damages them, you know, like it gets heavy and then they just start to kind of um, flop. So this cardboard really helps keep them like straight. So I really like that. All right, so I still have plenty of room. This is my plastic one, which here, let me let you see that. So here's my plastic one, which is actually like narrower this way, but I put it in the back like this. And then I have room on the side here. So all of these like other miscellaneous books that I have, actually can go like right in here, which is awesome because I still wanna make sure that I see them. And I do have like a little sticker book here from one of them from um, Simply Gilded. So that packed up really nice. So I like that. Now I'm just gonna put this back here. And that will get pushed all the way to the back. And I really don't need that, so I'm fine with it being pushed all the way to the back. And then this one will come right in here. And then that leaves me room to put my planners that I like to stack there. So I do have like um, some sticker books also from Planner Kate. And then I like my sticker album from uh, Rong Rong. I'll go ahead and I'll like tuck those in there and that works out really well. And then I still have room for a few planners that I don't use all the time, but I like them to be handy. 
And then a couple of happy notes that I have here. So I'm just putting the one in there. The other one's kind of messy right now, so I'll put that in there a little bit. So yeah, that works out perfectly for me, and I'm really happy. So all of my seasonal sticker books, my fall sticker books are right here. So I have my functional ones in front, and then I have all of my fall ones behind there, and then I have some of the rainbow ones and some other like miscellaneous ones in there. So I hope that that kind of helps you maybe try to like organize your sticker books just by me sharing with you how I like to organize mine. And like I said, I usually do that as I need to as the seasons change out. So once we start getting into Christmas, then I'll go ahead and rotate those around and make sure that I have like all my Christmas sticker books up front so that way I can plan things and you know I'm not like looking for everything. So, all right, well, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like, be sure to be subscribed if you have not subscribed yet and drop a comment down below. Let me know, or if you have any tips or ideas or on storage of where to put your sticker books, like that particular size, then please drop a comment below. I would love to know because I love getting tips also, and I'm sure anybody else would appreciate it as well. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.